Get that how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate. Namaste! Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome, or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. Recon is a foot. Energies of a puppy cat, I insist. Let's dive in, darling dears, and unpack and see what's going on. Golly and gosh, seven and eight, it's been coming out all week, darling dears. You have the energy of a seven. Remember, I told you that. Mm -hmm. The energy of the three speaks about what conflict, tongue wrestling, someone's nervous, someone's all the smoke with you, darling dears. Or they're creating smoke at your back. Yeah, where they're meant to be, darling dears. Like the past. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. The reason why is because the skull duggers who always have the eye of Saron on you, darling, they're watching your every move, looking for any peccadillo or two, right? They're seeing something about, something significant is about to change your shift in your paradigm, right? Because you didn't come back. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're giving them the full on Easter Island, Stevie Wonder, yeah. Somebody, someone or someone's don't like the fact that you are achieving, still striving, still blinking and breathing, darling dears. Your whole existence is creeping up on someone or someone's like a like a cheap lace thong. Imagine that, darling dears. You also have the energy of the four. The four is about security, but it's also about communication, darling dears. Yeah, some letter, something that you've been putting off, darling dears. Whether it's a phone call, confirmation, something just fell down. Just a second, let me just see if I can fix it. Otherwise, my OCD is going to kick in, guys. It's not going to be pretty. Yeah, confirmation, darling dears. Confirmation. We love the confirmation. Mm -hmm. As I was saying before I interrupted myself, the energy of this... What was I saying? Yeah, the energy of the four. You've got some form of communication coming into you. So either somebody or someone's been putting it off. It's been taking long, but... You're going to get it, darling dears. Remember I told you that. This is also a time where a love affair may be kicking off amongst some darling dears. The number seven is a highly spiritual number. It also kicks in your, your wisdom, darling dears, your introspection, your analytical mind. You are a natural born seeker and seek and ye shall find. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like knock and it shall be opened. Okay then. All right, the energy of the seven is ruled by the astrological aspect of a semi-sextile. So you've gone through a long healing journey, darling dears. This is what has kicked off your transformation. This new spiritual, this new intuitive you, darling dears. You're listening to your intuition now. Mm -hmm. Your birthday could be the 7th, the 16th or the 25th, or it's a significant day or number in your life. The luckiest numbers for you over the next few days will be 7, 5, and four, um, you're a natural explorer, just like Dora, darling dears. But whoever these Diego's are, they're skullduggers, darling dears. They don't want to help you. They don't want you to have the map of life. Mm -hmm. Your luckiest days will be Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. The letters G, P, and Y are attached to the number seven. The number seven is ruled by Neptune. And the, the letters attached to Neptune are OZ. So you've got G, P, Y, and OZ. Okay, 
All right. Avoid the numbers two, three, six, and eight over the next few days, darling dears. The reason why you're at this stage in your life is because of forgiveness. You've forgiven situations. You understood your energy is not for everyone, just like everyone's energy is not for you. This is about you excusing yourself from certain situations. Spiritually, it could be um, a, someone's passing. Maybe you're refusing to go back, not even for funerals, darling dears. You'll say goodbye from a distance. Good golly and gosh, it's all it's all coming out now, blood. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh. The seven also speaks about um, a visitor or you're going to be meeting someone who's, who's going to change your plans. They're going to tell you something or do something that's going to actually change your plans completely, darling dears. Okay? All right. That's a message for someone else. You also have the energy of happiness in love. So definitely a love affair is about to kick off, darling dears. Whether it's a long-term thing will depend on whether you did the research before you do the genitalia watuzi. Because the soul ties of it all is making my hairline itchy blood. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, child. The energy of the seven is represented by the chariot as well as the tower card in tarot. So it speaks about faith. It speaks about wisdom. It speaks about sudden change. It speaks about a deep understanding because of the reflection you did on yourself. You've gained a new knowledge and a new wisdom which you are using. Okay. Neptune um, rules Pisces, the 12th house, the 12th house of what? Hidden enemies, darling dears. It's the house of death and rebirth. There's definitely been some kind of somebody going on, darling dears. My condolences. Um, because confine because the 12th house is confinement, whether in hospital, prison, or the grave, darling dears. But it's also about endings, as well as what? True healing, as well as what? The occult, the unknown. Somebody got a hold of their birth natal chart. They're listening to their intuition. They're diving into their psycho psychic gifts, darling dears. Mm -hmm. I nearly said psychological. Somebody's really been ex doing a lot of self-examination. Posh clap. Bravo, big cat. Because Socrates says that's the key to everything, and I believe him, blood. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. the dead don't tell no lie. All right, let's carry on, darling dears. The energy of the seven is also represented by the seventh house. This is the house of contractual partnerships as well as the lower court, darling dears. Some of this, this upsetness that's been directed at you is because some kind of legal action you're taking or about to take. Mm -hmm. Because the seventh house also represents your peers, um, relationships, agents, associates, yeah, marriage, relationships, any partnership in your life, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It also represents something to do with the paternal grandfather and the maternal grandmother. Okay. All right. Some form of negotiation, darling dears, about to be in the offing. This could be why some of these Skull Douglas ones are getting rambunctious, darling dears. Because they haven't got the evidence to back up their what? Wickedness. Mm -hmm. You've got their psychological password, darling dears. Why? Because seven speaks about what? Moving in silence. Silencio. I've got nothing to give to the public. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you are meditating more, but you need to work. You had to retreat. This is the DNS, the dark night of the soul. I believe that this is your unveiling season, darling dears, because you're coming back with a new level of wisdom on how to operate in the world because you are in this world, but not of this world. You are understanding that you have a foot in both worlds, the 3D and the 5D, darling dears. Some of you are also thinking perhaps it's time for you to locate, relocate, darling dears. Chariot energy is movement, moving on. Tower energy is what? Maybe it's a sudden change for some people, but you've been bandying this around in your own cranium for some time. It's not only removing yourself from certain people's energies, darling. Is you want to leave the whole area? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just stay focused, darling, dears. Stay on your purpose and not in your ego and you will find the correct direction to go in. Remember I told you that? Your ego is not your amigo. It's like, as I said before, a cheap lace thong, darling. It's creeping up on you. Mm -hmm. That's why some people are still hurting over past relationships, arms house, that's lots of fighting with your family members. It's because they, they, they're still holding on to the, the ego side. They're, they're pain, they're hurt, they're affrontery. Let that go, darling, dears. You have to drop it like the ashes, darling. Is you're you're a phoenix, a big cat phoenix. Let it go, and live your life. Live your life, because no one can live it for you, darling. Is remember I told you that. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's carry on, darling. We're going to get the Oracle Ancestral message. Have I got the book to hand? If I haven't got it to the hand, you're just going to get the card. You're going to have to bear with me. <laughs> Found it. Face of the deck, shield maiden, the baddest, the baddest cat on the field. She could fight, cook, and yes, 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 she'll kill a hundred and, and then go, row the boat back to wherever they came from, their Viking village. And then she'll cook, take care of the children, everything, and then take care of the husband. Listen, the baddest one, darling, dears, make plans and focus. Because as a big cat, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. The energy of the seven is also what wisdom, darling, dears. Wisdom is for the wise. And wisdom is knowledge, and knowledge is power. And I'll have nothing else there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What's the Oracle Ancestral message? As a new chapter. As you turn the page. Okay. Hold on, let me just write this down so I don't forget it. As... Turn the page of life. Yeah, I'm just getting a title for the vid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face of the deck. Again, we've got shield maidens. I hadn't even had a chance to shuffle. Again, the baddest of them all holding the ace of swords. This is clarity and new wisdom. Medicine mother. Honor your inner knowing. What did I say? You've been on an internal journey. The DNS, the dark night of the soul. I had to look over my shoulder. Why? Because I'm only doing it once in this lifetime, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Now do it again, blood. I pay attention. <laughs> Yeah, everything comes from within. She's got the sign of the infinity over her eyes. The energy of the eight is the number of money, but it's also the death and rebirth. It's also the transformation of you, darling dears, as you what? Turn the page of life. Oh, love it. It's so sexy to me. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, a new direction. We've got arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. You're going to have to protect your energy because what? I told you. Those from the bottom of the pit, the crevice of the devil's balls. They're seeing your trajectory, darling dears. And if you have a court case with them, or they're going for a court case, they're blaming you. But you've got what? You've got the knowledge, darling dear. Intel. All you've got to do is sit with yourself and everything will become clear. Crystal clear. All right. The medicine mother. Let's see what page it's on. It's on page, I can't make this up. Medicine Mother is on what? Page 52. Is that not a seven, darling dears? All right. Okay, then. So we've got two sevens on the tabula, darling dears. So as again, your your ancestors, your Waisha, your spiritual guides, divine spirit, yeah, is telling you to what? Always look within yourself for what you really want, what you want to know, darling dears. And make sure that what you want is in alignment with your spiritual purpose. How do you find that? By looking at your North Node. Again, it's a reminder to believe in thyself, darling dears. And But it's also a caution to what? You have to share your wisdom and your knowledge through your stories, through counselling and healing others. Because as a big cat, that's what you are. A survival kit for another big cat, darling dears. This is why your comments are so important. You don't know which soul you were sent to touch with your words. And when you come over to what? Big, big cats, don't get smoke central, darling dears. We're here for upliftment and it's a safe space. Mm -hmm. For you to screenshot and read at your leisure or leisure. Okay, I'm just going to go to the extended message. It's The message is take action, do what you know you need to do. There is, an, there is an old pattern rising up in you now. And it's time to deal with it and release it for good. You're being encouraged, you heard the bell confirmation. You're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you'd like to be. You're, you already know the answers you know what you need to do you may have been using delaying tactics or holding back but but now you're being guided to take action 
action requires courage and your angels and guides are bringing you the courage to move forward. Take just one step. When you do, the next one will be presented to you, darling dears. Remember I told you that. Let's look at Arrow quickly, swiftly. They've put it in lovely thing, but listen, can I find that? She's naive. What would I? Here it is, Ara, where it says warrior symbols. It's on page 118. That goes to a 10, which goes down to a 1, darling, dears. So what is about you, right? Your individuality. But you are in um, a new season, darling, dears. The number one is ruled by the sun. So it's about yourself, darling, dears, your appearance, um... Um, your outward behavior. This is about you being more self-aware. This is your health, darling dears. But it's about you understanding that you are an individual. But the one is also reminded that be careful of accidents, darling dears. Be extra careful with yourself over the next few days. And if it looks hazardous, don't go. I like to what? Ignore things from inside my domicile, darling dears. I don't have to go and see that I've got to ignore it. No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> I told you I'm the CEO of Minding My Own Business. And if I'm minding that, who's minding my business other than the what? The bottom feeders that don't know what's going on. Fist bump. But they can feel the energy though. Right, let's quickly go to 118. Moderators, please timestamp this for me. Again. You to screenshot and read at your leisure or leisure. Okay. Surround yourself with protective energies. You are in a situation where you feel that not everything is as clear as it seems. Trust your intuition. There are energies in your current situation that, are f that aren't fully aligned with your intentions and goals or with kindness remember i told you that it's being directed sent at you they're chucking it at your blood mm -hmm. follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust if you can take time to retreat or step out of this situation to assess what is going on to be beneficial for you do so in any event this is a time to call on energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Your ancestors ain't playing. They don't come to play today. Mm -mm. All right. So the energy that's being chucked at you. Okay, let's get a deck. I'm going to go with the... Where's the... I'm going to go with the pink deck. Because we've got heart, right? Because we're big cats, darling. Yes, we've got heart. Energies that's being chucked at the big cat. Who's what? As they're turning the page of life. Mm -hmm. Look, put your third eye on bitches and bitches. You know where the energy is coming from. And you know that they've what? Recruited flying monkeys, darling. That's what the feeble-minded do. They're merchants of slander. Jeremiah 940. Always on the balls of their feet, darling. So you don't see what? That their whole life is a crisis. And the cards are again telling, reminding you that what? My hairline comes first. Your hairline, your health, your peace, your everything. Your pinky to everything come first, darling. Dears. Energy is everything. Listen to your intuition. Not every table must you sit at, darling. Dears. I don't care how long you know, just because you've known someone for a long time, maybe since you were born. Familiarity breeds contempt and they are in contempt. Mm -hmm. Right? You had to make a head over heart decision and it hurt. People that you thought would always be in your life had to get out, fetch the black bags. Why? They're raccoons and raccoons love the trash. And the trash in some cases took themselves out. Or they had, was told to leave and don't come back. Mm -hmm. but I can't make it. No spin in the block if is allowed. They can't come back in, darling dears, because they see your trajectory. Right? Cut, cut off their family members. Yep, yeah, listen, I can't make this up. You saw me shuffling the cards jump at us. 
Couldn't wait to tell us this buffet in law enforcement. This is an orgy of evidence, right? Because you are protected by the Most High Father God, Mother Isis. Isis, the goddess of 10,000 names. Hmm. And wasn't Isis married to her brother? So it's, it could be siblings, darling, dears. But it could be a whole family. You could have said everybody, yeah, that's the girl. And somebody might have said, what about? No, I don't care, little Timmy. Little Timmy, you're a back front neck cover, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, I forgot. <laughs> Why Timmy is really Pennywise son or daughter? Prackle out, prackle mm -hmm. All right. Let's press on, darling, dears. So we're going to get your energies, the energies around you. We're going to go deep into your psyche today, darling, dears. How about that? I'm going to use the... This is that deck. I haven't used it in a while. Here it is. Base of the deck. Ten of cups being in emotional alignment. And again, we have the energy of the ten. Remember? Mm -hmm. So this is about your public standing, your reputation, darling, dears. It's preceding you. Um, some of you are employers, and if you are employed at this moment in time, you're about to get a career boost, darling, dears. Remember I told you that. You're an expert in your field, and 10 also speaks about good dharma, right? Because you lead with honor. You've got, listen, you understood the assignment when you wrote down the big cat Bushido Reedy, right? The first one is to be righteous, then courageous, compassion, respect, truthfulness, honor, and loyalty. And the eighth one is what? The self-control, right, to, to, to exemplify all of the other seven rules on a daily basis, darling dears. You learn self-accountability. This is why you are in emotional alignment. And this is a card of Dharma, good karma, darling dears. Mm -hmm. energy around the big cat. This one jumps right into my hand. You got the wheel of fortune on you, darling dears. The winds of change. And it's another 10 on the tableau, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. And it, as I said, it goes down to a one again. Divine is telling you to have confidence in your ability. Believe in yourself, darling dears. Some of you have been wondering, have been hesitating in starting a new project or initiating a new venture. Go ahead, plant the seeds for your future because it's going to go your way, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy on you is what? New beginnings, darling dears. As you want, turn the page of life. Love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll come back in with some tiny cards for some... Because like I said, you had to use your intuition. Well, I didn't say the card said. I just told you what they said. And we read it together. Because what we're besties. Pinkies are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Change, darling. There's a new beginning for you. Mm -hmm. Because you've ended this cycle and you've transformed. You're not the same person you was when you started this spiritual journey. Whether you did it willingly or unwillingly darling dears however you bucked up on this spiritual path you're on it mate and you've been doing the right thing and you are being rewarded so get ready for good fortune darling dears the 10 could also the wheel of fortune could also speak about an inheritance yeah mm -hmm. a win on the lottery i'm not telling you to go gamble but if you are only gamble what you can afford to lose it also speaks about some of you are thinking about travel distant land. i just heard thailand thailand okay Okay, go for it, darling dears. But this is about your evolution, right? You've completed some kind of karmic cycle, darling dears. Let it go. Let go of a karmic debt. This is why you have growth. And you also have a lot. It indicates a lot of foreign people or foreign lands in your future. Mm -hmm. What past event or history Grounded your current state. What past event or history? Thank you. 
yeah, been around the wrong energies, blood. The hoodwinking, hoodwinkers, darling, this. Yeah, there was a lack of support, issues that was affecting your mental health, your financial health, your spiritual health. Some of you were being gang stalked and bullied, bullied online. Pentacles represent online, darling, this. You were being gossiped about. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh, I know, big cat. If I had pearls, I'd be squeezing them bitches with you. Mm-hmm. You was always giving too much to lazy people, darling, dears, with no reward. And it also speaks about you having to bite your tongue, being told to suck up feelings. This looks like generational cursation, darling, dears. Type dysfunctional situations. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? The, the Seven of Pentacles is the crossroads card, darling, dears. You was at a crossroads. And all these wheels, the wheels are turning in your favor, darling, dear. Where is this situation, this turning of the page leading the big cap to? Where is this turning of the, of the page leading you to? Mm, higher knowledge, darling, dears. Self-reflection. Some of you are high priest or priestess, but it also speaks about what? More spiritual gifts being activated, darling, dears. No one, listen, they can't, nobody can lie to you now. You're an energy reader, reader as well as a healer, darling, dears. And again, the Wheel of Fortune underneath the high priestess. You will find your, your pot of gold, for one want of better words, if you are in doing some kind of spiritual practice. Pentacle is online, something different. You're different, darling, dears. You're different. And the pur your purpose with your healing is to share your gifts. Mm -hmm. High Priestess energy speaks about lots of... There was a lot of secretive people around you, darling, dears. And it also speaks about your memory. Your memory about past shady, shady offences. That You can't remember everything. You were somebody who was f forgiven too easily. Too forgiven in situations. But when you come away from the situation, you're like, blood clot, them really did that. They was playing in my face many times. Mm. Sometimes you got to step out of a paradigm to see what's really going on. Two major arcana out, out of three. Divinely guided and a hand on your life, helping you turn the page of life. Mm-hmm. What is the next step or the future direction? I can't make this up. 10-10 breakthrough, darling, dears. This is spiritual ascension. This is um, passages, um, paths opening up for you, darling, dears. New opportunities. But it's about security, loyalty. Your mental health is on the up and up. Your physical health, your spiritual health. Everything is working for you. Yeah, these two faces remind me of what the two faces... Of these people or person that's been checked at the gate, they can't come with you, darling dears. All right. Fortune is shining on you. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the viewpoint, the attitude card, the attitude where you're. Listen, many people are. Listen, it came. The cards ain't ramping. Two cards came out, and they're both in the room first. This is gossiping gossipers, all eyes on your throne, darling, because they're watching your ascension. They're watching you change. They're watching to see if you'll come back to be abused again. Yeah, good golly and gosh, I know, bestie. I know. Mm -hmm. The hermit speaks about um, th these people or this person. They did have some standing in your life, darling, because, because you gave them that energy, but not anymore. They're still repeating all of the same cycles. They're still stuck in karmic cycles. Um, they're extremely stuck. They feel isolated because who can they trust? They're amongst many, but they're amongst what other rats, just like them, darling, dear. Their attitude is very shady. We will look at that again with another card, but let's continue with the wheel. You may have been in a relationship with somebody who was a high commander Decepticon, darling, dears. When you left that person, you realize that they was the blessing blocker, the Achilles heel. Right? The scum between your toes. Mm -hmm. Blessing blocker to be avoided. Like the plague. Yeah. Okay.
Let's move on. Any external factors surrounding you at this moment in time? What external factors? What did I tell you? They're sending all sorts, darling dears. They're sending spells, negative thoughts, negative words. They want you to go back in a cage that they can control. This is codependent, jealous, envy, obsessed. They're obsessed with you. Look at this. Three major arcana. Lined up, darling dears. But the hermit is over here. They're not with you. Their, their attitude is disgusting, darling dears. They're sending you all of this. But it's mainly based in what? Jealousy of what you are achieving for yourself. They didn't expect you to what? Turn the page, darling dears, and cut them off. And you are surgical, darling. Surgical. Mm -hmm. Let's leave the last one. The advice from spirit. But we're going to break down these other cards now. When you started to come into yourself, darling dears, you were spoken about in such a disrespectful way. I'm seeing that you was in groups of people and you'd be speaking about your ideas or things that, that are going on in your life. And you would be ignored, darling dears. This is a lot of deliberate. It was like a whole mentality and everybody was against you, darling dears. This is why you had to make this head over heart decision because you would have died in that situation. You were spiritually dying, but this is a physical death because... As it's in the mind, it's in the body, darling dears. Always believing that there was something wrong with you, but you was the right package at the wrong address. This is what you're coming to realize because your blessings haven't stopped rolling in since you moved away from that circumstance or situation. People are wishing for you to come back. They would love for you to come back so they can F with you again. Mm -hmm. Let's get the tiny cards and get right up into this. Base of the deck, happiness expert, and again, the sun energy. We already just spoke about it. Your birthday could also be the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th, or that's a significant date in your life. Um, the letters A, J, and S are associated with the number one, but with the sun, it's A, I, J, Q, and Y. Mm. Yeah, your current energy, wheel of fortune, the wind of change, darling dears. Distant people, foreign people, foreign lands, looking to go to foreign lands. What's this? Highly intuitive, darling dears, and you're loyal. Some of you are, you're, you bring energy to people, distant people. Maybe it's online, darling dears. Whatever messages you get out there or whatever it is you're doing online, it could be a website. Whatever it is, it brings joy to many. And you are in manifestation mode, darling dears. Instant manifestation. And this is a reminder of what? Your loyalty is not for everyone, darling dear. You put, you've packed it in. You've put a lid on it, right? Because discernment is key. Your intuition is right. When, you're, when your spirit says, uh-uh, what's going on here, blood? Listen to yourself. Because it always comes out in the wash. That you, you was right, but you didn't trust in yourself. And the cards, the messages is telling you to trust yourself. Take that first step and the next one will be presented. This card's just told you that, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. These people from the past, blood, they ain't got no chill or pause factor. Look. Spell work. You got the high priestess in the upright. They're calling you a witch. They're calling you a spell caster. They're saying that it's your fault that these things are happening to them. Yeah. But they're not doing the what? The proper recon. They haven't got no evidence to back up what they're saying. What did I say? The shade of it all. Frenemies, darling. There's the back front neck tabbers that go for the white meat. What's their real name? Little finger. Son or daughter of Pennywise the clown. Mm -hmm. They're still sending out all of this envy, hate, and jealousy. And why do I know it's envy and hate? They've also got addictions, darling. Is they're addicted to you? But it could be de to debauchery, um, abusive relationships, alcohol, drug, food, whatever it is, darling. Is but they definitely are what addicted and an expert at lying and casting aspersion. What else about these ne'er do wells that are missing? This is why they're mad because you're winning. Well, you know what. Maybe they'll do us the favor and hold their breath. Who knows? 
who knows or they do the rumble stilt skin and stamp their foot and never be seen again listen they ain't gonna they, they ain't seen nothing yet you've got the king of pentacles this is an entrepreneur this is an upgrade or a promotion in your job starting your own business but everything is working out for you all you do is win and for some they see what are you going to they will see you going into union with what a loyal partner somebody who brings something adds to your table that you've built when you chose self reflection Head of, listen, whatever this situation is, it's coming in quickly, darling. You may even have bought a new chariot of righteousness. Be beep, move, mobile home. You may even have a tiny home or you're moving in the process of packing up and moving on the GPS. It's going to be successful. And they don't like it. They don't like the fact they want you to fail, die, crumble and come back to be beaten again. Imagine that. They still want to be a tampon string in, in your life, these soft-eyed dull feeble-minded simpletons tisk 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 mm -hmm. outrageous darling dears outrageous okay um let's move on let's move on i'm 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 thinking anything okay the final straw the wrong people darling dears you had to what ease your mind your mind was healed by moving forward mm -hmm. moving on and again this is a movement card you've moved away from them and again another movement card you've turned your back on the situation this final straw where you was being breadcrumbed you was over giving it was affecting your everything in your life and yet they're like they were still kicking their way into existence and enjoying life why because they were siphoning your energy They was meant to take your energy, use it to heal themselves and then to heal others. What did they do and what did they continue to do? They're so feeble-minded, darling dears. Mmm. It's so outrageous, but you know what? It is what it is. You've got to go through the what? Go through the, the woods to get to the trees, darling dears. The real trees. Yeah, there was nothing but a distraction in your life. And you also have a fake apology coming in, darling dears. They want to tell you they're sorry to bring back a peccadillo to the horde. The horde that you've cut off. People that you saw as family or were your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, guilty feet have got no rhythm, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Come through, Phil Collins. Posh, clap. Okay. Okay. Because when they get together in their in their their coven, it's like a coven, darling dears. All they do is what talk badness. They come with what with bad words. Yeah, they're pushing badness. That's what we call it in Jamaica when you're saying bad things or doing bad things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promote badness. They're promoting badness on you, darling dears. Yeah, but God hears and sees everything. The emperor represents God. Remember, I told you that. And they're getting their spiritual whipping. That's their business. Don't go and help them. Until they what repent, darling, dears, and that's what taking the big word for you and look within. It starts with the man in the mirror. Come through, Michael J. Posh, clap. They need to go to the mirror, right? Look deep into their eye chakras and beat the shiznai out of themselves until they find compassion, right? And self accountability, darling, dears. Mm hmm. You, the high priestess energy, this is what you're moving towards, darling, dears. This is you being that one with your higher self. Yeah. As you think it, so it appears. I can't make it up. Moon energy. Many things are about to be enlightened to you, darling dears. You're going to know things. Like, look at people and be able to read their energy. Know exactly what type of person is. If you, if, I don't know. You, you'll know. You will know. You may even already know things, but this is going to be un, irrefutable things, darling dears. Other than it being part of your gifts. You won't have to be in no more power struggle with your own mind thinking, well, maybe. No, blood, there's no such thing as coincidences. And you will see synchronicities, darling, dear. So that's going to make you go, hmm. <laughs> Nine of Swords is sitting down and thinking about things. I told you, when divine is moving through your, your house, your life, darling, dears. 
That's the way to go. Ace of Wands speaks about you being spiritually guided. It speaks about movement. It speaks about you being in your second wind, darling dears, enjoying this life. And it also speaks about, because the Wands energy, darling dears, this represents days. So something that's coming towards you is coming in within the next few days. Something that you've attracted, darling dears. Somebody's also, you can also hear of a birth of a child. A pregnancy, a high-risk pregnancy, the child is coming quickly. Congratulations! But this is about the confidence that you've created, which is all part of your transformation. Confidence and belief in self, darling. There's your guardian angels, way shows, and spiritual guides. They're applauding you. Because I mean, baby, it was touch and go a few times, yeah? Touch and go! Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to take it over to Patreon, darling, dears. To get the um, final advice and guidance from spirit as to what, what your next step is. Because your next step, we saw this. This is a future card. You made, you took lemons and made lemonade, darling dears. And now you've put a bit of cinnamon in it. Good golly and gosh, why not? You're individual, you're different, you are unique. And this is all going on as they watch you turn the page of life. So for some of you, you will take the hop, skip and jump with me to the Patreon. Others, it's a what hasta la vista, sayonara. Mm -hmm. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings. My, where there's all channel merch. Um, my Patreon on my TikToks. Thank you very much for your continued support of me in this channel. Your bookings, your donations, your likes, your subscribes, your shares. And most importantly, your comments. You survival kit you. <laughs> and as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. Hey. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Be cat wave. Until we meet again. On these tired streets. Cat, 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 cat.